Hello everyone. In this video, we'll be taking a look at problems on three-phase half-wave control rectifier. So let's get started. So the first problem that is given to us is as follows. They're stating that a three-phase half-wave control rectifier has a power supply of 200 volt per phase. Determine the average load voltage for firing angle of 0, 30 and 60 degree, assuming a thyristor voltage drop of 1.5 volt and continuous load current. So let us write down the given data. What is given to us? They have given V supply is nothing but 200 volt per phase. So they have directly given the per phase voltage so we don't have to convert line into phase voltage and things like that. They have also given us the voltage drop across thyristor that is Vt is equal to 1.5 volt. Now they were asking us to find the average load voltage for 0 degree, 30 degree and 60 degree. So we had derived the expression for average output voltage, isn't it? So we know that from formula V out DC is given as 3 root 3 by 2 pi Vm cos alpha, isn't it? But here we have to subtract the thyristor voltage drop as well. The reason is if you are considering a sinusoidal power supply and in the three phase circuit we saw three phases isn't it. We will only consider one phase here. So output voltage that is obtained here is not the actual value if we don't consider the voltage drop across thyristor. This voltage drop is what they have given. So we need to consider that. So we are subtracting that by applying KVL to this loop. So V out DC can be identified for different firing angles. So let's consider case by case here. So case one, that is when alpha is equal to zero degree. V out DC is equal to three root three by two pi into root two times Vs, that is 200. Vm is nothing but root 2 times that is the peak voltage should be multiplied by root 2 into cos alpha that is cos 0 in this case minus 1.5 volt. When we are substituting we will be getting V out DC to be equal to 232.41 volt. Similarly when alpha is equal to 30 degree Again, substituting and simplifying, I'm not going to substitute these values here, but if you solve, you will be getting 201.07 volt. Similarly, when alpha is equal to 60 degrees, you will be getting V out DC to be equal to 115. 0.45 volt. So this is how we'll solve these type of problems. Now let's take a look at the next question what we have. Again let's try to understand the question. A three-phase half-wave control converter is connected to 380 volt line supply. They have mentioned as line supply and the load current is constant of 32 amps and is independent of firing angle. Find the average load voltage at firing angle of 0 and 45 degrees. This is first portion of the question that we have to find out. Given that the thyristors have a forward voltage drop of 1.2 volt, what value of current and PIV rating will the thyristor require and what will be the average power dissipation in each thyristor? So we have to find three different things here. That is the average load voltage and the PIV rating and the current rating and the average power dissipation in each thyristor. So there are three things that we have to find out in this particular question. Now first, let us write down the given data. So what is the given data? They have given it's a 380 volt supply and they have given I out is found to be continuous with a constant value of 32 amps and VT drop is equal to 1.2 volts. 
now in order to find the average output voltage so we'll again find the first portion of the requirement that is average load voltage which is given as V out DC is equal to 3 root 3 by 2 pi Vm cos alpha minus Vt drop. Since they have given Vt drop, we have to consider that. So you will be getting when alpha is equal to 0, again straightforward substitution, you will be getting V out DC just like the way we did for previously 255.4 volt and when alpha is equal to 45 degrees you will be getting V out DC to be equal to 180.2 volt so this is the first portion of the requirement now what's the next thing that we have to find out we have to find out the ratings peak inverse voltage rating and current rating so let's write this in general as ratings so the RMS value that is the current rating is given as I out by root 3 because it's three phase so per phase if we have to find out we have to divide it by root 3 so they've given I out to be equal to 32 32 divided by root 3 you will be getting 18.47 so this is the RMS value of current rating per phase we have to also find out the peak inverse voltage that is root 2 times V line root 2 times V line as in root 2 times 380 so you will be getting that to be equal to 537.4 volt so we have found out two portions of the requirement as per the question so the third point that we have to find out is the average power of the thyristor what is the average power dissipation in each thyristor so for that the average power that is with number C the average power dissipated in the thyristor is nothing but product of the voltage across it and the current across it divided by 3 this is for per phase so there are three thyristors for a three phase circuit so we'll divide by 3 so they've given 1.2 as the voltage drop and the current is 32 amps so the same current will be flowing when the switch is closed isn't it so 32 amps is continuous current so 32 amps is what we are going to consider as ith is divided by 3 you will be getting 12.8 watt so uh, I hope both the examples are clear to you and this is how we approach problems related to a three phase half wave controlled rectifier. In case you have any questions, feel free to reach out by typing in your questions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned.